Wrapping up the Southeast Yosemite League is the Highland Scots, a team that went 7-5 and five overall as well last season, who was unstoppable on the road. They were undefeated, and they're starting off on a comfortable footing in 2019. Highland High will enter this season as a perennial postseason threat. The Scots have gone to the CIF D3 playoffs every year since 2014 when Michael Gutierrez took over, falling to BCHS in the quarterfinals last year. But unlike most teams around the league, Highland has an advantage of keeping returners this season, something they've struggled with in the past. We've been very fortunate every year we've either lose a bunch of skill guys or a bunch of line guys. This year we're returning four or five stars on the line and we have a handful of uh, skill guys coming back. We have two quarterbacks, two receivers, so we actually are excited about the group we have, probably the most consistent group that we have back position-wise. And the Scots will look to put those returners to work in a well-balanced offense. Their up-tempo spread offensive attack allows them to use multiple quarterbacks, meaning more time on the field for more players, also meaning that preseason conditioning is a must. To be very conditioned because you know, we're spread offense, we're all over the field, and it's just go, go, go. Sometimes we don't even have breaks, we don't have, we don't have huddles, so like we condition like that on the field or at practice as well. The Scots will be challenged early in the year as they'll face Arvin, Shafter, and Kennedy in their first three weeks, starting with the Bears on the road to open their season.